Hey, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC. We're back for our third um, uh, segment in my little mini series of setting up my FL690 CO2 laser. Uh, 90 watts is awesome, really big. So I'm putting this together in several parts. Part three, we're gonna talk about the chiller. So the chiller is, um, helps cool down the laser whenever it's in operation. Um, the 690, uh, my research has shown that it takes about two gallons of distilled water, um, but it's nice just to have extras on hand, so I went ahead and picked up three. My particular laser um, came with the industrial chiller, the CW5000. Um, it also came with a couple of tubes, the inlet and the outlet. Came with the power cord and, of course, a um, an indicator alarm sort of thing so it knows about whenever it's uh, circulating and running and of course the laser so let's jump over and uh, take a closer look all right here we are in the back of the machine we have our uh, chiller um, they didn't give us very many uh, very long wires or anything like that so I'm going to look into uh, getting longer wires for these things just so that I can get these components sitting in places where I'd prefer them to be sitting. But what we have is our two tubes. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our water in, our water in and water out. All right, we have our water out, water in. And of course, what we're gonna do is actually sort of the opposite. It's kind of, it doesn't make much sense, but it does sort of. So we've got our inlet. This is where the water comes in which means we need to plug our water out of the machine into our inlet. It's because the water is going to come out of the machine and into the chiller. So we're going to push that all the way in again. Don't want to come out here for leaks. And of course the water into the machine means it's the outlet of our chiller. Plug that in there. Next up is our wire. We have our chiller wire. This is basically our alarm output is what it's called. So it gives a couple of connectors here. This allows the uh, controller board to know what's up with the chiller itself. There we go. And last thing, of course, is we've got our power. So I'm going to hook that right up to the uh, to our machine, to our chiller there. I'm going to run the wire right over here, over on the right side, or on the left side. All right, here we are with our power. I'm not going to plug it into the machine just yet. I'm going to plug it into my power outlet um, just so I can get the machine running. I'm going to have it pumping water through the laser. I want to validate all that works here in just a minute whenever we go to fill it up. And of course, uh, note that the power is off on the machine. Here we are with the uh, with the chiller. I'm going to open that up and get some, start pouring some water in there. Hopefully, I won't make too much of a mess. All right, next up we turn it on. All right, here we are. We've got our temp sensor, our sensor here. Pull that thing off so we can see it. So. Hmm. Ooh, and it's flowing. Hard to tell, looks like all the waters, all the air bubbles are popping out. But the water is flowing inside there. So what do you think, will that bubble go away? Yeah. Yeah? It's already beginning to. Oh, yep, sure is. So I didn't capture it before, but it turns out if you turn your, your chiller off, the bubble 
naturally floated over here to the exit and up and around and it sat in that curled tube right there. When I flipped it back on, out it went, right out the outlet, right back into the chiller. All right, here we are. We've got our laser all tubed up and cooled down. I'm gonna close it up. No need to get in there again. Assuming there's nothing, nothing that goes wrong. We've got our chiller down here. Um, next up, we're going to be talking about um, the exhaust. So we're going to hook that up in our next episode, in, in episode four of my mini series. And yeah, remember, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.